molecular beacons form a stem loop structure as a result of complementary sequences at the 5' prime and 3' prime ends, and a target specific region in the centre which forms the loop. This structure brings the 5' prime reporter and 3' prime black hole quencher into close proximity so that fluorescence is quenched. Step 1 involves heating to denature the double-stranded target DNA and to open the stem loop structure of the molecular beacon. When the temperature is decreased, the molecular beacon hybridizes to the target sequence. This holds the stem loop structure open and keeps the reporter separated from the quencher, thus releasing fluorescence without relying on probe hydrolysis. Finally, the temperature is increased for optimum extension by the polymerase, allowing the intact molecular beacons to dissociate and reform their hairpin structures quenching fluorescence as the next round of target amplification takes place.